Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to develop a new market abroad. Then you're telling me, well, wait a minute, I mean, don't you know that we cannot even travel right now? It's very difficult, all the borders are closed. Isn't that mission possible? Your mission, should you choose to accept it? Should you accept this mission? Well, if your company's future is hanging by a thread, you definitely should not. On the other hand, we know from experience that there are plenty of companies in high tech, for example, that are doing fine or they are doing actually quite fine. And these are the companies that could actually take advantage of uh, additional international opportunities at this point. If you want to know the five reasons why you should go abroad, hang on to something tight because we're about to take off. So obviously, if we want to develop a new market abroad, the web is an absolute must. Because we cannot go to the mountain, so let's try to have the mountain come to us, right? So we're talking about having good lead generation from our website, from our social media, even from people abroad. So probably translating the website, making sure that the website is properly referenced, and so on. Developing new uh, marketing materials that you know will resonate with that kind of audience. But it's beyond that. I mean, we're talking about how to deliver services once you capture these clients. How do you service them? Uh, how are you going to accept payment in some cases? And I was talking to fellow IMF agent, Jan, and he's telling me it's a lot less complicated now that we have the web. Some people may object. See, if I don't have the bandwidth to do that right now, which I answer, are you sure? Take a look at your company. Some people right now, they have less to do because the economy is running slower and they may actually enjoy, just for their morale, uh, the challenges that come with uh, developing a new market abroad. And they may have actual skill that they can bring to bear on that challenge. Now, just in case you don't or you need other skills as well, keep in mind that it was very difficult a few months ago to recruit in some professions. Not anymore. It's unfortunate we feel for these guys, but on the uh, flip side, that's a good thing for us. I mean, now these good people are available, but they won't be for long. Three, two, one, now! Some people will say, well, the economy is bad, it's no time to invest. Perhaps, but then, as I discussed in my previous video, the economy hasn't stopped ticking. In fact, in some cases, it's now ticking faster. Take, for example, the government. They need, right now, the latest tech to deal with bio-threats. I think that you know why, right? Private companies and other organizations, they need to increase their effectiveness, especially in our era of increased remote work. So, there are needs that are unmet right now, especially if you're in high tech. The question is, is it time to increase your market share? Need another reason to invest? Take John's example. He has a friend that was about to release a new product in the US, but it's heavily dependent on stadiums and other big venues being open in order to be successful. So right now, their plans are on ice. Well, in New Zealand, the stadiums are open, right? And it made me think, it's like, sure, it's B2C, but in B2B, do we have other opportunities like that? I think so. Right now, there is part of my team in Asia that, sure, they can visit clients while I'm cloistered here at the MF headquarters because I'm in the US. So there will be countries emerging from this crisis first, and it will be in our best interest to be present in these countries, right? Of course, we need to be realistic here. We will need some patience because, yeah, things are not just going to pan out really quickly in most cases. Not being able to travel makes things a lot more complicated, that's for sure. Still, if you're an ambitious businessman or businesswoman, you want to prepare today. Because you know what? If you make sure that your company is like a compressed coil, ready to jump on every one of these opportunities and expand explosively, then you're going to be the winner at the end of this crisis. But the time of, to prepare is now. On that optimistic note, this is C from the IMF headquarters wishing you a good day. Huh? 
the international monetary fund? No, 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 no. I'm talking about the international market force. <laughs> 